Hey guys, so I made a couple changes in the past couple days. It was all pre-planned. I've been waiting for this car for six weeks. So I kind of had a lot of parts ordered and things planned out. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is I did ceramic tint all the way around. I did 15%. I didn't do anything to the windshield. Um, and I will say it makes this car look night and day different. Um, one suggestion would be if you want the car to look really good, then go with 15%. If you're more worried about seeing at night, I would go with 20 or 25%. I would say at night with the 15, you can't see in the windows at all, but during the day you can see in there slightly. Um, and this is what it looks like. Like I said, it looks night and day different and of course, tint had to be one of the first things I did to the car because I do not like that feeling of being in a fishbowl, I guess. Um, so yeah, so that's the tint. And then I'm gonna talk a little bit about the rims and tires that I did. Okay, so this is the wheel and tire setup I did. I decided to go with inky TSVs. And as you can see, it's this really beautiful, uh, dark, dark bronze color. I didn't want to go with uh, the gold that you typically see on, you know, the World Rally Blue um, because this fits my personality a lot better. I, I like the darker colors and I decided to go with 18s by eight and a half because for performance reasons, I wanted it to be a lot lighter. Um, and so these should be a lot lighter than the stock rim and tire. I decided to weigh the stock rim and tire and it was 51.8 pounds, almost 52 pounds. So pretty heavy for each tire, um, for each wheel setup. And so I haven't had a chance yet to weigh this, but when I do, I will put it in the description for you. And for the tires, I decided to go with Continental Extreme Contact 245 40 R18. Um, the entire, the setup here looks really good. I wanted to go with an all season tire versus what comes on the car, just because I live in an area where it snows. So I figured it would be better to have these in the winter. Um, and then as far as the car goes, I do plan on lowering it at least an inch. I just feel like there's too much wheel gap here. Um, so I want to lower it an inch. I still want some ground clearance, so I don't really want to go any lower than an inch, but um, I think it would look good lower just just a little bit um, and then as far as like the setup it, it looks really great I love it I'm really happy with it I ordered it on tire rack and then went into discount and they installed it for me so it was a pretty easy process I'll put the link in the description to what I ordered in case you guys want to order the same um, and then, so after this, so please like and, and subscribe if you like what I'm doing with my car and wanna see more, I'd love to see you come back. Um, and then after this, I'm gonna do a montage of the car so you can see the tint and the rims a lot better. Thank you.